Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up the sculpt template uh, like the one I use. So you get the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to uh, your home page here. And then you're going to go over to the chart icon. You're going to click at the top. You're going to move over to all instruments, USD, BTC, excuse me, BTC, USD. Type that in. Then you're going to select this option here on buy bit. You're going to press OK. Then what it's going to do is going to generate a new it's going to generate a, a, a new tab with the default settings on. So from here, your default settings will look different to mine, but that's okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the left-hand side. You're going to click on this area. You want to select Range US. You can probably only have one option. I don't think you'll have any options there. So what you need to do is you need to go over to Configure. Click on Configure. Choose Range USD. Then you're going to press add. Now you've got, um, I recommend two options. The first one is going to be 24 tick trend and reversal is 10. You can also use 44, 44 uh, tick trend and you can use 10, oh, 26 for the reversal. But just use this for now 24 and 10. You're going to press add. Okay, so you can select one of them and you press apply. So then when you go over back here, you'll see a little add that uh, that um, setting that you saved. So we're just going to select that one. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do when setting up a chart like mine, you're going to right click and go over to settings. Sorry, to indicators. So the three indicators you're going to be using are the open interest, the VWAP, and the delta. So, to search open interest, you go open interest, technical indicator open interest, you're going to press add. Okay, then it's going to add it to your chart at the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to change this to cumulative, and you want to make sure that it's set on candle. That's the only things you want to do, then you can customize um, the size, the visibility, um, how the candles look, any of that stuff. So you play around and customize that to your liking. So we delete there because I already have one up. Next thing we're going to do is going to go to View App. We're going to search View App. All right, then we're going to select the View App. We're going to press Add. Um, so now what it's going to do is it's going to add the View App again. Period must be set to daily. Uh, everything else here, that's fine. Custom session starting. You're not going to really be worried about any of that. Uh, right, cool. So uh, source, leave it on. Uh, at the close, that's fine, perfect. So over here, the only thing that you want to keep is the view app itself. Okay, you can just change the color. Then what you're gonna have to do manually is you're gonna have to go down and deselect all of these. So what I mean is you're gonna have to go down where it says visual style, you press hide. And you're gonna have to do that with all of them. Okay, and we'll just do that. We'll go back there, my bad. So once you deselected everything, you see my ones coming up like this. So I need to go here and I need to say visible, visible, no. This one, visible, no. The only thing that we use is VWAP and we only use VWAP when trading Bitcoin. VWAP uh, you can use it's extra confluence when taking profits or entering trades. So just another uh, confluence area. So we'll deselect everything and that looks good. So we showed you open interest in view app. So the next thing we're going to do is show you the delta. So under search, you're just going to search delta. There we go. So click on delta, press add. So if you want it like mine, the only thing that I have different here is I have on the MISC, on the mode, I have uh, set to high and low. That's how I like to read the delta. That for me is the most clear. Just make sure that's set to candle. The rest, as I say, there's lots of options. It's really customizable. It's pretty crazy, actually. Um, so I'll delete that because I already have mine set at the bottom. And then the last one was the actual cumulative delta. So you can go delta again, search in delta, search cumulative delta. Then you press add, 
Okay, it's going to add it here to your chart. This one you want mode set to line, and you want to change the color, change the color to something like like this, and width. I think I have the width on one. Yeah, change the width, or maybe even keep it at two. Uh, solid. Put your styles line, and the next. Only other thing that I can think about doing is the session mode. Select that off and select use scale. That must be off. Yeah, and show description. So just make sure all of that's deselected. Change the mode to line. Uh, you don't want a zero line. You can remove the zero line. Um, there's a way to do it. It's just annoying. Right, so. I delete that because I already have it here. So those are your three indicators or four indicators. I guess the view app. This is going to show you open interest. This is going to show you the cumulative delta. So you can see here, open interest is increasing, the delta is increasing, the cumulative delta is increasing, and your actual delta is positive. So this tells you that new new long positions are opening as you speak. Okay, but what do you notice? Look how, look at the divergence here already. So your delta is already much higher than what price is. That to me is already bearish, but I'll leave it as that. This is a swing failure pattern. Can you see when you have a flat line in the open interest like that and it decreases, uh, it's basically telling you that, that when price moved down here, what I was actually doing was liquidating over leveraged long positions. They've been kicked out of the market. So once they were kicked out and finished, then once they were removed from the market efficiently, essentially all the selling uh, had stopped. Right, because those long positions they were forced to sell and not dried up. So what often ends up happening is price reverses. This doesn't always happen, uh, but this is called a swing failure pattern. But you can see you can see it manifested in the CVD as this as the um, commuter volume goes down, right? Because you have negative delta, you say the negative delta here, so you know that um, negative delta or position selling was causing this, and it's not new orders selling; it's old positions that got liquidated. They got removed from the market once they were cleared out. The price reversed. This is a pretty uh, standard template for a swing failure pattern. So I uh, hope, hope that helped you guys. Yeah.